So it turns out that Amazon are going to backtrack a little bit on one of the key things that people didn't like in the January Expedition Mutator patch. And that is not only are you going to be able to upgrade 600 gear score items, you will now in fact be able to upgrade items that are 590 and above. And I think we can all breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief and say that's a good change. So let's have a look at what Amazon have actually posted. I will read it like uh, exactly just because I want to be exact. So let's read it. So Zin Ramu says, thanks for all the feedback so far on the Umbral system. One piece of feedback that is fairly unanimous and i think that makes sense is limiting the ability to upgrade gear score 600 items is pretty onerous we wanted to keep the value of legendary 600s really high but i can totally see how that is limiting and can be disheartening when you get a lot of bad rng and haven't got your legendary role therefore we are looking into reducing the required minimum gear score to upgrade to 590 you will still need to get expertise to 600 to unlock upgrading via umbro but once it's unlocked, you can now upgrade from 590 to 600 at a moderate umbral cost. That allows those really good 590 to 599 rolls to become great weapons with a little extra umbral. Now they say weapons there, but I'm pretty sure this relates to armor because you can upgrade armor in the PTR. Now one thing that they do clarify, and I'll just show you this exactly, is that this is not going to then turn it into a legendary. You're not going to gain an extra perk. They will not gain an additional perk. Essentially, it will become your epic item. You'll just be able to get it up to 625. And it sounds like you're going to be able to get it all the way to 625, not just like 624 if you were at 599. So just quickly, one note here is that you will have to get your expertise to 600 just by the normal traditional thing. And that won't affect your gear. But once you get your expertise to 600, you can then start upgrading that item. And of course, it will become combined on pickup and all that kind of stuff. Ultimately, I think that is a great change because whilst you can get 600 legendaries, getting 600 legendaries with like three useful perks well those items are very 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 expensive so it sort of felt like people just wanted legendaries with two perks and even they were like quite up in value because well you needed them to get to 625 changing this to 590 plus just sort of takes a little bit of the harshness out of the system and it will allow casuals to sort of like well go well i'm never going to get my three best in sort of perks i'm not really that bothered about that i don't want to pay 100k to get that so instead i'm just going to pay a couple of thousand gold on the auction house or whatever get some decent two perks and go with those and i think that's fantastic i don't think like it should never obviously have gone to like a legendary item you should never get three perks from upgrading it so i agree with sticking with whatever it is that you stick with and i think that's obviously a great system now there's still a couple of issues that i have with the mutators specifically i'm not sure there's enough other forms of progression because the uh, gypsum system doesn't seem to give you all that much yes the more you get one item up the more humble shard you get but it feels like obviously there's not enough difficult options in the game for example there's no difficult pvp that would offer you progression but we'll talk about that another time i'm a little bit worried that amazon are, are doing this trend and i don't know if it's intentional or not where they will initially tell us that something bad is coming and then what will happen is they'll go like oh all the feedback we've heard you we, we really don't want to like annoy you like this so we're going to not make it as bad and there you go and everybody goes yes it's not as bad but that doesn't mean that the thing that we're getting still isn't bad if that makes sense just because it's less bad now they did that obviously with this patch but they also did this with the scaling that they introduced well they actually announced it in december it's actually getting introduced in this patch and then they were like oh actually we don't want to annoy crafters and stuff like that and in the dev video they were like yeah obviously we don't want to diminish your crafting uh, if you've been working to get that up whereas actually several weeks before that that was your plan and it was only because the community sort of said hey that's not good <laughs> did they then change their mind i hope this isn't a trend where basically they just deliberately put something they know people won't like just so they can turn it down a bit just so everybody goes ah that's fine that's great i'm happy with that i'm not saying they did that here because like you know these little changes they might have thought it was a good idea to have legendaries at 600 it does sort of make sense and actually if this was in a couple of months time we were getting this maybe in three to six months time it would actually make more sense because more people would have legendaries i do actually think that there probably needs to be a way of getting legendaries in people's hands that are actually semi-useful well it turns out that these expedition mutators themselves but you can't put the cart before the horse meaning that if you need the legendaries to really compete in the expedition mutators and then that's actually the form where you get most of the good legendaries it's sort of like a, an endless loop like a catch-22 situation but the reality is it looks like you probably don't need full gear score 600 to complete the early levels of the expedition mutators 
and I think actually that's probably going to be where a lot of like casual players sort of end up. I see myself maybe doing the tiers one to four, something like that, and maybe just trying to get a group who's not going to be like, we must speed rush this content, we must get through it instantly, don't you dare die, <laughs> because I, I really don't want that in my life, I want to be a little bit more casual, and if we don't get a great score, we don't get a great score, but hopefully I'll still get some, you know, gear score 600 items, and a few humble shards, I could be happy with that. So it's nice to see Amazon are listening and paying attention to us, I think most people will be positive about this unless you're in that like one percent two percent of people who are like yeah i've got gear scott like 600 legendaries i'm missing everything like guys catch up please what are you doing you're a noob come on then i can imagine why you would be a bit like no oh, i was actually going to be ahead of everybody no you might not be quite as ahead of everybody one last thing before we go i just found this one a little bit amusing there's a new patch today basically and one of the bug fixes is fixed an issue where players couldn't gain more than three levels of aptitude when crafting large quantities I feel like that's a shout out there to kibbles and video game data bank <laughs> and the uh, issue that he faced yeah that's funny not much else they fixed some quests well actually they disabled them because they actually haven't fixed them they fixed an issue with the jump ball i don't really know about this this jump cancel but it is what it is fixed an issue causing permanent disease and slow being applied in pvp pretty sure i had that bug well and i'm pretty sure you can read the others if you really want to let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you like this video do press like have a most beautiful day goodbye